This is the GPD WinMax 2 and I like it a lot. In fact, every video you've seen on my channel in the last three months or so has been edited on this machine with it just as it is. It's got a Ryzen 9 HX370 in it and it's got 64 gigabytes of RAM. It's got an extra two terabyte storage disk in there and another two terabyte storage disk built in for the system. I like it so much, I thought I would try its accessory, the GPD G1, which is an RX 7600M XT graphics card in a little dock. And I bought this myself, I bought this used, but actually the price of these aren't ridiculous. And I got this for about 400 quid. Thank you very much to the captain for selling that to me at a good price. I hope your new gaming build goes well. And it comes with a Thunderbolt 4 cable, which one of the ports on the GPD is Thunderbolt 4 but it also has the option to be connected by Oculink. Now, if that's the first time you've heard the word Oculink, <laughs> I'm not surprised because it isn't a common port. And most of the time you can get away with USB, but USB 4 or Thunderbolt 4, it caps out at 40 gigabits per second. Whereas Oculink, you can think of Oculink essentially as being a direct connection to a PCIe port. And so this is the preferred connection for eGPUs, external GPUs. Thunderbolt 5 now exists, but devices that use Thunderbolt 5 are few and far between, but that goes up to 80 gigabits per second. So that is now a faster standard. So maybe Oculink's days are already numbered, but right now for affordable external PCIe devices, essentially, then you're going to want to look at Oculink. Now what it's going to do when it's connected in to this, it's going to use the CPU in here but it's going to prefer the higher powered, still laptop standard graphics chip, which is in this G1 here. You can also notice that this is in itself a USB hub. 